Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. I hope everyone is safe and well with the craziness that is happening at the moment. But mayhem aside, we're going to do another tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a sticky header that stays stuck when using the recently added anchor links feature in Adobe XD. Essentially, this enables us to link to different parts of the same artboard, whereas previously we could only link to different artboards. And when we do this, we're going to keep our header sticking to the top of the screen as the scroll animation plays out. So without further ado, let's get started. Right here, so you can see I have a design here on screen. And if you would like to follow along, you can download the project files. They are linked in the video description. And if I just zoom in, you can see I have a rather simple header here made up of a few different components. I'm just going to drag over all of these, go over to the layers panel and right click and we'll group these together. It's much easier to fix a group rather than fixing and unfixing individual elements. So let's double click on the text and we'll give this group a suitable name. And if you are interested, this artboard size is the iPhone preset from the welcome screen, but you can see I've just made it a little bit longer. You can select the artboard and just drag from the bottom to make it as long as you like. So now we have our header grouped. You can see I've grouped the buttons already and these are labeled yellow button and red button respectively. And what we're gonna do is just make it so when we click or tap on this yellow button, it scrolls down to the red button and our header up here stays fixed in this position. So let's select our header, jump over to prototype mode at the top and then go down to here, fix position when scrolling. We'll check this. Now this is nothing new and if I preview this, you can see we can scroll up and down and our header stays fixed. Fantastic. However, what we're going to do next is we're actually going to just zoom out a little bit. And then if we click on the yellow button, rather than linking to another artboard, we can actually now link to another object on the same artboard, which is this red button. So essentially what I'm doing is telling Adobe XD, hey, when someone clicks or taps the yellow button, transition to this button. And if I just set the offset back to zero, I'll show you how that works in a moment. So now we have the new transition type. This is scroll two. Of course, the destination is red button. You can change this here. And I've got my easing set to ease in out with a duration of one second. So this is going to create a nice smooth animation. So let's click play and let's click on this button. And there we go. Uh, I mean, great, it scrolls to it, the header stays fixed, but this isn't quite right. And you can see it snaps to the very top edge of the artboard. So what we're gonna do is if you click off this by mistake, just click the button again. So this transition, this prototype link becomes active. Now we're going to play around with the Y offset. This allows us to offset the point that the screen will scroll to from the top edge. So zero means that the red button snaps to the very top edge. So let's offset this by, let's say 200 pixels. And you can see that offset appearing here marked with the pink area. And if I play this again, when I click this button, you can see it's moved down 200 pixels from the top of the screen. Now this bit can take a little bit of tinkering, but what I'm gonna do is we'll go for minus 400. Spoiler, I have prep this in advance so I know that this is going to be pretty much in the middle. But as I say, it just takes a bit of tinkering. We'll click play, click on the button, and there we go. So we've adjusted the position that it scrolls to. And you'll notice that at the very top, our header stays in position. So this header will now function as a sticky header, the kind of thing you've probably seen on many mobile and desktop sites where as you scroll the page by any means, it will stay snapped to the top of the screen. But you can also navigate the page by clicking on different buttons, different links that scroll you down the page as well. And there we go. So that was how to create a sticky header that stays stuck upon scrolling all in Adobe XD. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please everyone stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you next time.